So all of the SM120 series in the box come with a manual um, and two terminal covers for once you've wired up the terminals as part of the MID approval. So the SM120 CT Pulse. So we're now moving on to the CT versions of the meter series. So the difference is the others are all 45 amp direct connected. So they'll be sitting in line. Say this is your single phase circuit, live and neutral, live and neutral. That's how the direct connected meters would essentially be sitting on the load. But with these ones, you would have a separate supply, five or six amp MCB to wire the live and neutral into this meter. And then you'll have a CT current transformer, which will be wrapped around your live cable on the circuit that you wish to monitor and then there'll be two little cables S1 and S2 from the CT that go back to the meter to give it the current reading. So you have a voltage input, you have a current input, current comes from the CT and the voltage comes from your MCB from the board um, and that's, that's how you basically get the kilowatt hours or the kilowatts and the kilowatt hours on this meter so that's how it calculates it. So the CT meters are handy, uh, I'm sure most of you know but the CT meters are mainly handy for, handy for retrofit so if there's only an existing load that you wish to monitor, it's easy to monitor using CTs. A lot of the time as well, um, I mean this particular series only goes up to 45 amp. Most direct connected meters only go up to about 100 amp. So if your load is then over 100 amp that you wish to monitor, you'd have to use a CT operated meter. The CT versions of the STM120 series goes up to 600 amp maximum. So you can have a 600 to 5 amp CT. 5 amp is the secondary and that will communicate fine with the meter and work out your kilowatt hours for you. Applications that these are best used for is, again, any check meter scenario. The STM120 CT Pulse is still multifunction, so it can still give you the multifunction readings that the STM120 Mod Mid will give you, which we already covered. It's got the button here to go through the different parameters. And um, yeah, so it's good for any check meter scenario. Obviously with this one, you can go up to 600 amp, as we said, whereas the direct connector is only 45 amps. So that's a benefit of this one. And any check meter scenario, um, it's pulse. So there's no real communication unless you want to use a pulse logger, a pulse counter. So just reading from the face of the meter, your most basic single phase CT operated meter. Single module, all the SM120 CTs are single module DIN rail mounted and um, yeah, the wiring on this one, I won't go over the wiring, but when you are installing the meters, try to refer to the lasered wiring on the side of the meters if possible. If you're unsure on the wiring, or if for some reason it doesn't have this lasering on the side, just get in touch with us, either on 01268 773 422, or inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk, and we'll send you over the correct wiring diagram for the relevant version that you've got. Thank you very much for watching, appreciate your time if you made it this far. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or get in touch on um, email or, or on the phone. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and uh, stay tuned to the channel. Thank you.